Julian Love's two fourth quarter interceptions lead the way as the Seattle Seahawks pull off a 20 to 17 win over the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday night. Let's get to the post game video. <laughs> having that final opportunity they get the ball back with 640 left I'm not wondering if it's going to get back to you or not to get it and to deliver it like that coming off the four losses you had just how good does this feel for you guys it feels great you know for me um, I trust that you guys you know they trust in us uh, we played off that you know, that energy and uh, them stopping them uh, yeah I mean we practice it too so you know like I said we didn't flinch and we kept playing blocking up front what were you seeing working in the run game today? It seemed like it really got going in the second half to spark your head zone. Yeah, uh, I feel like we kept running up here, you know, we trusted it. Uh, the O-line did a great job in that the hole was open. Um, yeah, uh, the O-line did a great job. In that you had runs up the middle and out wide, just can you talk about that, how the O-line did a good job of opening up holes for you in both, both yeah, places? Yeah, did a great job, you know, the tight ends on the end, the wide receivers, and take the whole unit, you know, to make it. Uh, man, is that job easier you know, for the running back? So, um, yeah, I give all the credit to the ones on the front and uh, the virus is in the tight end. Okay, just how are you feeling right now? <clears throat> I feel great. Uh, yeah, I feel great. You know, it's always good to win. But, uh, we want to enjoy this, but, uh, you know, we got a lot in for uh, next week. How happy are you for Drew? Huh? How happy are you for Drew? Oh, I'm super happy. Yeah, you know, uh, we rally behind him. We believe him. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to see him out there. Sidelines. 
toes tap, tapping, hanging on to the football in the game, winning the game, a walk off interception, all but um, just fantastic stuff. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that, that you guys want to ask questions about, but uh, we're thrilled to get that game. Yeah, it's been a really difficult stretch. We played great football teams that are on a, on a high, and uh, every game we've been in it, every game we've had a chance, and uh, we just weren't able to get over the hump. This was a huge ball game for us, of course, going into the final stretch here, but uh, um, our guys kept hanging, and it, it's so obvious, and we kept practicing really hard and working really hard, and everybody kept believing that we could do something, and, and so tonight is that night. So now we gotta, we'll get uh, crack, crack for the next game, and we'll get a short week, and we'll just have to come back together and, and get one. He beautiful football. I mean, the, the poise uh, that we talked to you about last week, I and mean, that's what, where he's been. He's been on it, he's been in command, uh, uh, you know, there's a couple of completes in that drive, came right back to hit it and converted and, and made the first downs and all, and then did, to throw the touchdown to, to win the football game. Um, yeah, it's amazing stuff. Um, he would be the first to tell you about the guys around him. The offensive line did a great job tonight running the football one and also pass pro and they did a beautiful job against these guys and gave us a chance. And uh, uh, I, I, we couldn't ask some more for him in that game. Right? And, uh, they, our, the expert said it was too much to expect for him. So chill. And he, I mean, he just made the, the catch of his NFL career, and, and he was just as calm and poised. He's a he's a great competitor. I'm serious about what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying here. This guy, it was not too big a deal. It was like, you know, this is of course a man. He's been doing that his whole life, and that it's that kind of confidence and savvy that that allows a guy to separate from other players. And he's he's got that stuff in him. And, uh, and, and I was incredibly impressed with that. I, ca I caught a couple glimpses of him in between the, the, you know, all the craziness and all that stuff. He was just on top of it. Man. He was really, really impressive. One, you know, I saw that he was walking, screaming. Uh, he ran it that, that route a couple times uh, earlier in the game. Uh, and <laughs> I'm dropping for him. And I just hear Q, I'm running with him. And uh, uh, Andre yells, Jew, middle of the play. And because the ball was in the air, so I, I beat on it. I had good positioning. I just looked up. The ball was floating. He got with it. Uh, second play, you know, I just had a good feeling of them going to go to number 11. You know, AJ Brown's a real deal receiver. And I was honestly watching him that entire play. I was in the post. Uh, I saw a double move. I just took off and saw the ball floating. And I must be living right because got my feet in it. I mean, Bobby and Gino early in the week challenged us. Um, you know, got up in front of the team meeting uh, on Wednesday or Thursday. And just addressed us. Just said what was in front of us, and you know, I'll let them talk about what they said specifically. But I think we all got the message that everything we have is in front of us um, for for the taking. And so we just have to obviously get this one and think we did. He uh, bended but didn't break. You know, um, you know, you could tell guys were like locked in. Um, you know, they had some really long drives on those opening possessions, like you just said. And uh, you know, I think guys were doing their thing, but you know, they just did a little better on those drives and. Uh, guys weren't hanging their heads and feeling defeated or anything like that. You know, we I felt like we were competing out there today, and uh, guys were just uh, communicating and uh, playing off of each other. It was more than fun. I can't find the right word for it right now, but um, it was a blast, man. One of those, one of those classic NFL games. You know, besides the two-minute drive in the first half, three drives there, a couple pen penalties stopped us, scored on one of them, and. Uh, and hats off to our defense tonight. You know, for us scoring 17, again, I think that's what we scored. I just know we scored one, a little bit more than they did. But for uh, them holding what they did tonight, that's a power, powerful offense who scores lots of points. And uh, hats off to them, man. Thousands of things, man. He, he, I couldn't, we'd be here all night to, to talk about them all. But just, uh, I think it was just the over the, the over the top feeling of, you don't get very mo many moments. You don't get very many opportunities in this league. Um, and with every opportunity you get, you need to be as ready as you can be because you don't get a ton of them. And for us to come out tonight and play the way we did and get a win and one of you know two opportunities I had this year to start, God, you know, I was just I was excited. You know, I was emotional. I was emotional for myself, but I was emotional for these guys in this locker room. Rough couple weeks. We needed a win. We needed a win to pull us back, get our spirits back up, and uh, that's what we did here tonight as a team. On uh, the first third down, first drive, and uh, we didn't use the elements of one-on-one -on -one go ball and jacks on that. We had man that first time, but my plan going into it was we're going to work the concept side first. First third down, I get this call, and uh, I'm breaking the huddle. Shane gives me the little 
outside, you know, who knows how they're really going to play that concept that they kind of see and felt the same thing earlier in the game. And uh, sure enough, they gave us one-on-one. Kind of the perfect look. We had an off corner. Jack's kind of tempoed it off the ball, and he hit the Jets. And that thing in the back corner. He always said, God, my Lord said, Jesus Christ, um, just allow, for allowing me to wake up and play today. You know, super fun, emotional win, emotional game. Um, great team win. Drew Locke stepped up, and yeah, on that play, you know, I knew if we had main coverage, it was coming to me. So, you know, just thankful I, you know, was able to make the play. On the corner, um, yeah, I've been making catches like that, you know, for a long time. So hopefully, you know, that continues to carry on. That, you know, if it was man to man, you know, that, you know, I was the go to on that play. And we ran it before. And they did play man, but, you know, you know, football stuff happens. And then the next play, we, we were able to get it down. So, um, you know, happy I got, you know, the same look. I just try to control what I can, can, can control. And, uh, I'm in practice every day catching, you know, every ball in the air and, you know, translate that to the game. So, um, yeah, I just hope, you know, my team trusts me to make those plays and it feels good for them to do that. In addition to love, the Seattle Seahawks got a professional performance, his best performance from Drew Locke as he was 22 of 33 for 208 yards and one touchdown. Ken Walker rushed for 86 yards and 19 carries and a touchdown. And the Seahawks as a team, rushed in even 100 yards and they're 5-0 and when they rush for at least 100 yards. So the Seahawks finally snapped their uh, four game losing streak and um, you know, this is the win they needed to kind of give them hope, keep hope alive for a playoff run. For the Cascadia Sports.net report, I'm Asvita Mara Ere.